Hello everyone. This is me, Tommy. Today I'm gonna show you how to connect a Bluetooth mouse with an Android device, which is here I'm using is the XTC One X. First, I'm gonna turn the One X on. I locked it, and I go to the Bluetooth settings, and I turn the Bluetooth. Um, look here, we can see the Razer RG is. Oh, it's kind of blurry a little bit. Excuse my camera. Well, the RG here is not which one I paired before. So, is it not. They are not pairing right now because I turned the RG off. Oh. Actually, I just pair them. Okay, I didn't turn off the RG. So what you can see here is the little pointer. They represent the mouse. And how we're gonna use it? Well, I will answer that question. Is the mouse is pretty much pretty much the same when you use on window. You can scroll through the screen. You can you cannot left kick or right kick it, it won't pop it ah it popped or I, I clicked on the clock apps and it popped out okay I'll go back so I'll talk a little bit about the allergy the allergy I have I bought is is kind of special it is a gaming mouse so it had additional buttons to here and to here. You know, I customize it no longer on the windows, so I make those two buttons to be increased and decreased DPI. These two buttons here is gonna go back and forth on the folder or the web, or here on Android, you can see. When I open an app, okay, and I press the button back here, it will go. Oops, need to touch the car to work. It will go back. Yep, it go back. Hmm, very interesting. Using your device with the touch screen and. The mouse is a new experiment for Android user. You know, not not any mouse can do this connecting via Bluetooth. My mouse is amazing, and I know it. Okay, so if you wondering how this is, this mouse gonna work on the apps, we will try again try to sector strike can I use a lot of movement now I switch into my mouse okay press start stop okay now we're firing you know because of ooh I think this is way better than just touch you know you can touch you can fire yeah but it can be really, really un uncomfortable sometimes. Oh, I died. No mind the glare, guy. No mind the glare. And when you use it with a mouse, it is more precise, and you don't have you don't have your view won't be blocked by your fingers. I mean, sometimes it is blocked. Oh, but. Well, not very responsive. Thing is, is because of the Bluetooth connection. Yep, the Bluetooth connection is not the kind of you want on sensitive touch. It has a long response time. So that's it, guys. You can connect your mouse with your 
Android device by via Bluetooth and there's another way to connect them is through the USB RTG cable yes we just can plug it in like a normal mouse on a normal computer so let me demonstrate for you first I will click it in okay I'll take I turn off the Bluetooth mouth connect the wire oh there's a sound connecting my computer I'll take it off here it is this is the cable this is the RG cable now we we connect those two together Okay, this is the mouse. Okay, this is the mouse pointer. It works kind of the same like the Bluetooth mouse. Let's try if it's gonna respond anything better. I hope. Here we are. Sector 42. Ooh, Dodge 1. Dodge 2. Die, motherfucker. Ooh. I still find it kind of laggy. Yeah, it's not very responsive like in Windows. Ooh, I must die right there. Oh. F. I think it is because of a kernel. The, car the Linux kernel is is not as good as the Windows. No. Maybe the Android, the XC kernel is not as good as the others. But if we use it for everyday use, like clicking through the apps and work. If they're just fine, you don't have. If you need get, uh, some gaming stuff, you can just connect it with the joystick. Yeah, handset via the USB RTG. So that's it, guys. This is how you connect your devices to an Android phone via the USB RTG. Well, not every Android phone can be connected with the through via the RTG cable because you must have custom kernels and custom runs. Yep, I mean, what I'm gonna try to say is some devices like the Samsung Galaxy S3, the HTC One X the Xperia B some of them can use the USB RTG mode you can use them to connect your mouse, connect to your keyboard connect to the USB flash drive which is very very interesting because you can uh, with devices that has such a small storage like 8 built in 8 gigs or 16 gigs you want to expand them to want to store some music, some films well, just plug in and they're connected this is something interesting right? so, thanks for your attention and please, excuse my English I'm kinda of bad at this okay, bye guys, have a nice day